Number 32. TV broadcast antennas are the tallest artificial structures on Earth. In 1987, a 72-kilogram physicist placed himself and 400 kilograms of equipment at the top of a one 610-meter-high antenna to perform gravity experiments. By how much was the antenna compressed if we consider it to be equivalent to a steel cylinder 0.15 meters in radius? All right, so we've got the radius here and steel. All right, so um, what is the nature of the question? It's asking us to find out how much the length of this antenna changed, uh, assuming it was compressed with a certain force, right? So that has to queue up a formula in your mind, and that's going to be the Young's modulus formula over here on the right-hand side. This says that the force of compression or tension, because Young's modulus deals with both, is equal to the Young's uh, modulus constant multiplied by the change in length of the object divided by the initial length of the object multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the object. All right, so what's the force being applied to this antenna? Well, it's simply found by the mass of the physicist and the mass of the equipment he placed, right? So remember that weight here is equal to mg. So the weight, the total weight of all the masses would simply be 72.0 plus 400 times then gravity, right, of 9.80. So the total weight compressing the antenna will be 72 plus 400 times 9.8. So we get 4,000, approximately 4,630, considering rounding, 630, and that is in uh, Newtons. Okay, so this is the force of compression. So 4,630. All right, so now we have to find the Young's modulus for compression. All right, for, what are we doing? Uh, we're talking about a steel cylinder. So let's go to our table on the upper right-hand side. And let's see if we can look for steel, and here it is, right? Here's steel, and here is the Young's modulus for it, so 210. Okay, wonderful. So now we have a value of 210. Remember, that's multiplied by 10 to the 9, because all these values are 10 to the 9. All right. Multiply them by the change in length, what we're looking for, divided by the initial length. And they told us on the initial length was 610 meters, and we're going to leave it like that, since that's in meters. All right, multiply by the cross-sectional area, and it says that this sim, this it's a steel cylinder, right? And it has a radius of 0.15. So if we think about what the nature is of a cylinder, right? If we think about taking a cross-section of it and looking down at it, what does it look like? Well, it looks like a circle, okay? So it looks like a circle here. And that circle, it told us, has a radius of 0.15 meters. Great, so this is point. Uh, excuse me, 0 0.150 meters. How do I calculate the area then of that circle? Simple, pi r squared, right? So area will be equal to pi times 0 0.150 squared. So simply plug that into your calculator. So you get pi times 0.15 squared, and it comes out to be 0 0.0707, right? Yes, okay, and that's meters squared. So now we can take that value and plug it in, 0 0.0707, and cl let's clean it up. So 4,630 equals 210 times 10 to the 9 times 0 0.0707 divided by 610. And that works out to be 2.43 times 10 to the, I gotta count this one, 3, 6, 7, right? 3, 6, 7, yes, times 10 to the 7, multiply them by the change in length. So divide out now the 2.43 times 10 to the 7th from both sides, 2.43 times 10 to the 7th. And now we have our change in length equal to 4,630 divided by 2.43 times 10 to the 7th. And we get a value of 1.91, right? 1.91 uh, times 10 to the negative 4 meters. So that's how much the antenna would have compressed by. All right. In terms of millimeters, right, that's almost a tenth or two tenths of a millimeter. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this was helpful. Please do remember to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.